Oh, it's Josh from Expert Survival. I've uh, just come up to the woods today for a bit of a bit of a day sort of trip and a, also a bit of a resource gather. I'm uh, going to get some nettles while they're still out for a bit of cordage. Um, some more birch bark for tinder. I know you can collect that over the winter, but you know, if you have to stock some up and things. And hopefully, if I can find a suitable log, I'm going to try and cut off a bit of a uh, bit of wood, a kind of a fat disc, you know, about that kind of thickness, for a bowl that I can turn on the lathe. Um, this is one thing I'm lacking, which is a large amount of of wood that's big enough for a bowl, really. Um, just uh, so there we go, and just through a little bit of a less trodden bit of the woods, and uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Alright, we've just stopped off for a bit of a brew. Just uh, just got the zebra on the hexi cooker. Just we've just finished, so uh, on the hex cooker down there, an ingenious uh, thing that I either saw or came up with. I can't remember. Essentially, to stop the, stop this lid. If that's not there, it drops right the way down and gets heated up. But if you put a tent peg under there, it just holds it up like that, so it doesn't get quite so warm. Anyway, that's why that's there. Um, yeah, didn't bring much out today. Um, ignore them, back of playing cards. Just the hexes in there. Bit of uh, noodles and stuff, cup. Folding saw, this wool blanket. Um, that's about it, I think, yeah. Oh, and my carving tools as well, for, if I, in case I want to carve something up. Sitting in this, uh, quite a nice area, actually. Um, bit of a path behind, but as long as you don't light a fire or anything, nobody comes over. Um, some nettles down there, that, that greeny area there are all nettles. I'm going to collect some of them in a minute for some cordage. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely day. Nice clear blue sky. Well, a bit of a cloud there, but not really. Not anything rainy. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely day so far. Get back to you in a bit. Right, we're just on our way back from the wiki. Just um, went to check it out. I haven't been there in a while. And the A-frame down there as well. It's uh, unfortunately a bit run down. Um, all the spruce we put on it has has died off, so it's a bit, you know, it's not as waterproof as it should be and, and things. But uh, it's all right. It's not too bad for saying how long it's been there. The frame is still sound and everything. So yeah, just hitting the path now. Um, get back to you in a bit. Right, we've just sawn these uh, sawn these logs off. One smaller one. And then one larger one, and then another one that's in just just in this rucksack already. Got mine there, just about to put them in. Took them off this fallen dead birch. Someone's already cut it there. Um, I think it fell from up there, that stump there. We're just going to now collect those nettles, which are there. Which are there. Maybe sat up there on the last bit of the video. Well, the bit last when we saw the nettles anyway. We're just going to collect them, probably sit down and strip the uh, useful bits off them. So we'll get back to you once we're doing that. Right then, we're just, uh, just doing some nettles here. Nettle cordage. All right. So, uh, just going along. We've cut, we've cleaned it off already. Just popping these knots out of it. Or well, not knots, you know, little bits there. Once we've done that, Start from, oh, start from one end, split them open. Sorry, you can't see that very well. That's it. You should just with your thumbnail or something. There we are. Follow that all along the nettle. It should, these little lines here, where you should split along one of them, really. And it just, oh, just almost splits itself, really. You split it all the way along, you just go along with your thumb, flatten it out a bit. And 
and get it about in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Break it like that, pith upwards, so the inside up. Break it like that, and this pith will come away here. If you can see that, you can take it away from both sides like that, look. And then you just get your thumb under there, work it down. Sometimes when you get to the knots, if it's quite a big knot, it can be a bit, a bit of a pain. There we go. And just carry on working your way down. Pull the fibres towards you. Pith away. There we are. Now that's the wastage. And then swap round. Do the other side. And there we go. That's your fibres. That's about three, well, four individual fibres there. And we just lay them out with the rest of them just for, for drying because the first time they dry is always when they shrink the most. So you dry them once, wet them, flat them into cordages and let them dry and then uh, that's how it's done. We've got all of these to do so, so we'll get back to you uh, in a bit I think we should be done for more. Right then, um, thanks for joining us. I'm Josh from Expert Survival. See you on the next one.